What's up guys? So I'll teach you the tutorial on how to convert this old uh, Bluetooth speaker which apparently doesn't work anyway as your mid-high. So this one is usable. So the, the tools that we need guys is your uh, soldering ion of course, then your lead, your lead, your electrical tape, camera handy, then cutters. Then your pliers, then this one to, to connect the terminal. And then I have here some used wires where I could get it. Then a small wire. So the first thing that you need to do is turn this on because this needs a lot of time to heat up. And this one has opened the back side so we could disconnect it from the. Okay, so, okay. So I'm gonna be using a bigger. Um, precision set of screwdrivers, so this is gonna be quick. See that? So easy to remove the screw. It's just this is actually a Torx, but the Torx is so small. But good thing is it's easy to remove like this. Double this the screw. This might create a air noise, which is really not good. But in this case, we'll apply a high pass filter so that there could be no air going in going out of the box because this one is a sealed enclosure for i think this one would produce high spl even if it's small i can say because it's really good if you tune the speaker higher and you just cut up those low frequencies we know that it's really bad in our speaker so let's remove this now just need to tap it okay there's the tape just remove the tape this one is add on she throw it anyways put it there and then we're gonna be prying this open here from the bottom so to pry it like this okay so you just need a little bit of effort to remove okay so i'm gonna be removing it by this time no it would cause some serious damage so i just need to this is your force I have a nail, that is my nail. Oh, that's um, okay. So, you can see this one is the connection inside. You could see this one is the speaker, and this one's the amplifier. So, in this case, we're gonna be disconnecting the speakers. So, here you go. I think I'm gonna be putting them in series so that I could have um, higher ohm weightage, wattage. So, you just need to remove this using our are um, make sure it not to burn yourself okay then the other one cut them off and also there's a battery I think it's gone wrong it's dead and there's another wire it goes so hard it remove it there you go guys removing it this one I need to remove this because this is a battery and we don't want some explosives in our speaker so we need to remove it using anything so there's a black glue that glues them together i don't know if it's also used to hold these speakers here in place i'll just remove it then i'm just cutting up the the, the black okay. you can see there is a black space so you can see so you need to just press this on so that we remove this here, okay? And also guys, I forgot to tell you that you should also have your multimeter. So I'm gonna be testing it in impedance mode. So we'll see what, how much impedance do we get in one speaker. So here you go guys, so we're gonna be connecting it. I can't remove the, the battery, but here. Okay, so there's no impedance. Connect it again.
Or are they not giving any reading? Is it busted? You see? So they are 8 ohms. You got 6.5. It's 8 ohm speaker. So we could wire them in parallel. You just need to be very careful in the ball. So you might fry them potentially. So I don't get any reading here, but I think it's also atoms. So furthermore, we're gonna be connecting them in series. Because these things could get fried easily if we have not taken into account. Okay guys, so I think of I'm gonna be putting this here. So it would be nice to see. So we're gonna be removing this screws here. Okay, so we're gonna be removing the biggest screw here. All right guys, so you can see here, we're gonna be inserting this one over here. You can see it fits perfectly, just like it's made to be in here. Go guys, you can see. It's like they're made to be together. This kind of um, setup. They fit together, see? It's like it's really made for this kind of application. See that? You just need to seal it so that there would be no air leaks. But I'm afraid that air leaks could never be ine inevitable. But it's okay, it's just mid high. But if you really want a no air leak, you should use um, any kind of um, plastic, um, hard plastic. Okay. Just need to, just need to um, solder everything here. So let me time lapse for you, that guys. And most of all, guys, should also know what what do I mean by serious wiring. So. For our series wiring, so this one is the positive of speaker one. This one is the negative of speaker one. Going to the, the negative of speaker one is going to the positive of speaker number two. So you can see this is wire goes to speaker number two. This is the positive. And the negative goes to your negative side of your amplifier or the speaker here, the speaker connector here. And this one goes to the positive side of your amplifier or your terminal here. That goes to your amplifier this one okay that's how i explained everything for the series wiring so let's get on and let's connect them okay okay guys so before we test this out we need to still test this so i will Close this case, let's see. There you go. So I recommend that you use only one screw so that it would hold this whole thing here. Okay. Then put also in the other screw. And then, after tightening it right enough, we need to connect this on our amplifier. And we'll see how this thing works. Okay guys, so let me fix this for you guys. There you go. And then let's connect here in the positive. So let's connect it. All right, guys. As you can see. You hold the universe. All right, guys. So that's the testing of our speakers. You can see it's really, really good for this kind of application, guys. So this, as you can see, is really a small speaker. You create. Okay, that's a very good speaker, guys. So it really sounds great. Just make it sure it's in series and everything is gonna be fine.